I'm with Nick Griffin, MEP of course. And Nick, we've been here all week, we've had a lot of meetings, and I believe we've got some more good news from the Alliance. Um, news about the Foundation. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think people who've been following things closely are aware that we had the Alliance and that the the far left, or socialist bloc in particular, are furious at the idea of the nationalists of Europe getting a little bit of the 32 million euro pot that all the other parties have set aside yes. to basically fund their pan-European operations. Uh, I think it should all be scrapped, should be left with the taxpayer. The taxpayer shouldn't be forced to fund pan-European political parties. But as they are, it's great that the Alliance was able to fund it again this year. But also this year we've been, fun been funded additionally to the tune of 219,000 euros, so and roughly speaking... £200,000 sterling. And that's, uh, on, that's on top of that's the... That's on top of the Alliance money the Alliance for money. the Foundation. So yeah. between the Alliance and the related Foundation, uh, basically it's half a million euros for this year. Uh, and as you know, we attended the other week lectures about how the Foundations of the other parties work yeah. and what they do. It's a very exciting project. Very much so. Um, I attended all those lectures with you. It was quite fascinating to listen to the... Um, the... Um, Far left, telling us about how they've, um, their foundations fight nationalism right yes. across Europe. Quite incredible, really. Yep. Taxpayer-funded uh, opposition to democratically elected um, core colleagues of the European yep. Parliament. But um, has there been any thoughts about what the Alliance Foundation is going to be looking into, Nick? Yes, a number of things. We want to keep it a mixture of practical and ideas. Uh, and I think we'll quite probably be developing things to encourage people to register, to encourage people to vote mm -hmm. from communities which are left out. Mm -hmm. Part of the, one of the mantras here is, you know, uh, involvement mm -hmm. and engagement inclusion. and equality and inclusion, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and quite so. But uh, the left and the, well, right through to the conservatives, but the further left it goes, the worse it gets. You know, they're all very, very hot on equality and including the ethnic minorities, so much so that they forget that certainly in Britain, and it's different in different countries, the most excluded group are what the BBC would refer to as the white working class, yeah. our people, and especially their youngsters. And as a result of all that exclusion, they're voting less and less and less, which means they have less and less clout, which means that the, the middle-class tax-eating bureaucrat parasites uh, and their clients, who of significant extent are various different kinds of minority groups, mm -hmm. they get the money, they get the dough, they get the attention, and the white working class get sweet FA. So, so we've, got a, we've got a whole class of people... Who are excluded. Excluded, disenfranchised with the political process... And we're going to work to ways to bring them back into the political process. It's good for democracy, which we believe in. Yes. People, they don't believe in it here, really. No, it's of a, 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 a fig leaf. So it's good for them. They're, so that's on the practical side. Things, things like that. On the sort of more ideological side, you mentioned yourself, actually, how they're saying, well, you know, we, they're opposing nationalism, opposing populism. Yep. Uh, so I think it's also quite likely that we'll be looking at ways to uh, examine the record, for instance, of communism, Perhaps to some British people, slightly irrelevant, although actually when you consider the damage being done to Britain by the, uh, the neo-Marxists, the Frankfurt School types, common purpose people, uh, it's still Marxism applied. But for the whole swathes of Eastern Europe, or Central and Eastern Europe, you know, there are people who still bear, bear the scars mm -hmm. of hideous communist yep. torture, and their torturers are still walking around. Uh, and all the mass graves of communism, all the horrors of communism, no one talks about it. It's all sort of buried. And I think that symposia on things like that uh, to encourage so that the mantra never, never again, that mm. slogan, is applied to all the totalitarianisms, yes. all the brutalities of the 20th century, and those by the left, especially when you're considering that you're talking scores of millions, yes. far exceed anything ever done by nationalists of any kind or description put together and I think the foundation will be looking at those things and seeking to ensure that uh, the young generation especially are brought up really understanding the true history of and, the last century the instead of the left wing version mm -hmm. and the dangers and of the it. Dangers of Absolutely it. so. And of course that might well be why the left, the far left, the, the extremists as we would call mm -hmm. them, um, have been gnashing their teeth about um, 
nationalists getting oh, yes. funding. I think they can feel a spotlight heading their way and, and some they of haven't the, got a zone um, to hide under. No. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. We'll, I'm sure all the viewers will watch with interest as that one develops. Yes. Um, more in due course, no yeah, doubt. More in due course.